This is so unbelievably necessary, guys. It is freezing outside. Last night it snowed, and so that means dun dun dun, dun or that's not the right thing. No, I did the wrong thing. Dun dun dun, there we go. Snow coverage, which it's funny because people assume that I absolutely hate snow coverage and I hate covering winter weather, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't love it. Like I'm not like, whoa, oh my gosh. But I honestly don't mind it because at least I can complain a little bit, you know? Like obviously I'm doing my little snow report, but I can sneak in a little, it's so cold, this sucks, you know, that type of thing. And that is so much better than doing like some kind of serious story and having to act like I'm not dying, trying to act like I can feel my limbs. And so this way, it's a little therapeutic for me to be able to, you know, talk about what I truly am experiencing. I haven't been outside yet, so I have no idea what the roads are like, which, Listen, I never want the roads to be bad, obviously. I mean, right now I have to drive to my location. Like, I want it to be safe. I want that. But I do have to say, there is nothing worse than when we have these snow events and the roads are fine. And because I mean, it's it snowed quite a while ago. It actually snowed at like 11 o'clock last night. So it's not like a snowy morning thing. And it really is uncomfortable when I am covering this snow event and there's nothing going on. And my entire live report is me saying, the road's really not too bad. Definitely slow down just in case but really not seeing anything like it's it's just it's happens quite a bit because for every single news station don't care who you are where you are weather is everything weather is why people turn to the news and not to mention weather could be one of the most dangerous things you know we do tornado watches and then we have these snowstorms and you always want to keep people informed and alert and obviously ultimately keep them safe so yeah i have no idea what to expect but hey life of a tv news reporter you kind of just roll with the punches let's do this hey Catherine, we actually got quite a bit of snow at least for the cincinnati area hey Catherine, i'll tell you the fastest I drove this morning was 20 miles an hour. Hey, Catherine, well, it certainly is a winter wonderland out here, and all of this this is what kids are gonna love. Hey, Catherine, well, starting with your car, it is not just a clear it off kind of morning, it's a scrape it off kind of morning because underneath all of this snow is ice. 20 miles an hour, Jen, that is the max speed that I was driving this morning. Check this out. So if I put my foot in the snow right here, I mean, this is probably the deepest it has been all year. Hey, Catherine, the bottom line is it doesn't matter where you live. If you are leaving your house this morning, you are gonna wanna take some extra time. So that right there was my morning in a nutshell and I actually don't think I've ever done this before on my YouTube channel where I just show you a compilation of every one of my live hits throughout the morning obviously not the full live hits but just like boom 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 I mean I do get questions from you guys sometimes when I say like yeah I'm live every half hour and you guys ask like do you just say the same thing every half hour and the answer is no so if I'm doing a story like this where it's, it's not breaking news I mean I guess snow coverage technically is breaking news but a fluid situation or I'm just talking off the cuff I'll honestly make every hit different different in the intro. Like I will just make sure I switch it up because I think that'd be very weird as a viewer if you're watching at 5 a.m. and you see me saying, hey guys, the Cincinnati Police Department does not want you to leave your house. And then it rolls around to 5.30 and you hear me say, hey guys, the Cincinnati Police Department does not want you to leave your house. Like the same exact thing. I would sound like a robot, right? It'd just be weird. So I at least try to switch up the intro and then what I'm talking about, I mean, that's not changing. I can't change the news. Like it's gonna all be the same. Hey, here or your roads like you know what I mean but at least changing up the intros is important and then if I have like a scripted story like a court case or just any one of my day-to-day -day stories I will have three versions so I'll kind of just rotate them so I'll do one for five one for 5 30 one for six and then when 6 30 rolls around that's when I repeat my five which there could still be the same viewers I would find that to be very awkward if they heard the same exact script but obviously I can't come up with six different scripts I mean that would just be insane and the reason we are live every half hour though is because apparently the research shows the average viewer is only watching for like 23 minutes so of course that means some people are watching longer but a lot of people aren't really watching all that long so you still need to you know get that news in that half hour Hour, and that's why I come on every half hour, which are you so happy when I come on Zach every single morning? Each time I see you on the half hour, I just get so excited. I get little tinglies and <laughs> little like, tinglies. Goosebumps even. <laughs> even. And it's just a great just to see what's going on with my roads since I'm going to be hitting the roads here soon. Do you remember um, when we first started dating and you started tuning in on your laptop each morning after yeah. the fact? Yeah, You'd be like, I'd like go to work and when I'd have like five, ten minutes, I would go to the 
it's not local 12, what was the station called? Fox 45. Fox 45, and you could click the morning news and I could just kind of like click through to see when Clancy was on so I could like see what she was doing. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. And you texted me like a picture one day and I don't like when people, watch. like now like we're, we're pals, we know each other. So it's like, you can watch whatever. But back then, I was like, oh gosh, he's watching. Like, this is so embarrassing and cringy. And I still tune in every morning. No, you don't. You're a fraud <laughs> and a loser. Ever since the quarantine hit, you're like, I've had enough of her. We just get so much time together. I, I get the live version. They get the TV version. You don't want both? I occasionally get both. And I get the YouTube version. Wow, so many versions get, of me. Yeah, you're bipolar AF. <laughs> <laughs> oh! A57. I have a Zoom interview at 9 and then another one at 9.30 and then another one at 11.30 and this is just the busiest day ever. But yeah, okay, I'm going to grab my laptop. Zach is kicking me out. He's forcing me to do it in the bedroom. To the bedroom. He's actually not. He gave me the option, but I told him I'd be fine in this little dungeon because honestly, I realized as long as I open up the windows, Lighten it up a little bit. This is a great background. You can't tell I'm in the bedroom. That obviously would be very weird if you could, but it's just a plain background. If this has not become your life, just waiting on Zoom, waiting for people to show up, then I, that you're doing something wrong. Zoom, it is so weird that I did not know what this was before the pandemic. Like I had no idea, I'd never heard of it. And now we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally done with my Zoom call and I knew you'd be out here doing this. I heard her. Oh my god, you even lit a candle for it. You flexing the toe? You have two candles going. Zach's a candle animal. I'm trying to stay. Harmony. Peace here. Hey, Sheila, when it comes to human trafficking, there's not a whole lot of data available. A quick Google search and you can find some information, but really you're not getting the full picture. From the streets of Cincinnati to my home. We're back in the crib. Are you happy to be here? I am. This is comfortable. This is comfort with Clancy. This is much different than our morning yesterday. Oh, just look at that comfortable, comfortable shot. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. So Zach is right now in the shower blowing his nose. <laughs> but yeah, this morning I woke up and I said, you know what? Let's do it in the house. Cause you guys know at the beginning of the pandemic, I was doing like almost all of my live shots from here. Like it's nice, don't get me wrong. This is this is like cushy, right? Like I got the perfect lighting, the temperature, so warm, but staying home all day, it's just not my path in life. It just like, you drive yourself crazy. Like, okay, I sit here and then, you know, I, I don't know, even just not getting in your steps and not getting out. Yeah, I don't necessarily love freezing in 30 degree weather. I wear ski pants, but it's really not that bad. So yeah, I actually chose to just stop filming in my house. Not to mention, I really, really try not to wake Zach up. So that's another challenge. Okay, I almost just started crying before my last hit. One minute before, I'm like, oh, let me snap a picture of Henry, show we're in the apartment. So I'm like, oh, Henry, do like a queen wave. Like, like I didn't mean anything by that. I thought, I thought he was just gonna wave. <laughs> look at this photo, guys. All of a sudden I look at his hand and I'm like, oh my gosh, he seriously, he took it seriously. He thought he had to give a queen wave. Feeling very domestic. <laughs> What did I just Dr say? Dramatic. I meant to say majestic. Dramatic. Oh my god, I'm seriously like drunk. I'm not. I'm obviously not, but I don't Just know. Like <laughs> What's in this tea? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is a full Henry laugh. I've never I've never caught it on camera, oh, but he goes. Oh, oh that was rich. That was rich. Oh my god. You are hilarious, dude. Henry just left. I am now on my lunch break and I am so freaking excited because we have an exciting development, guys, on the channel. And that is a new vlogging camera. And believe it or not, I actually sat down yesterday to talk about this exact thing. It was gonna be a really cool unboxing and then a test, but then when I turned on the camera, it was dead. I had to charge it, so I just Put it away, took a nap, and was like, we're just gonna do this tomorrow. And guys, it's tomorrow, even though technically it's today. So the camera I got is the Sony VZ-1, and the really cool thing about this camera is that it was built for vloggers. So when you have these compact cameras like this, usually they are built for photo. But then also us vloggers, you know, we'll use it as well. 
However, this one was built for video, like it's specifically for vloggers, and that is just so cool. And then the camera that I am currently vlogging on, which is the Sony, I think it's like the Sony A5100, I always get a lot of questions on that. It is a phenomenal camera, but the reason I decided to upgrade is because this camera is, for some reason, broken, where I record, but it deletes the footage, and it's, it's like it never records, but I promise, I'm hitting the record button, it says recording, and then seven minutes later, I'll realize, oh wait, <laughs> it wasn't recording. So that's something I've been dealing with for months and finally I decided to bite the bullet and buy a brand new camera which I'm of course going to be testing out and I am so excited. The one thing I have to say, so I really want this to be like a before and after, I don't think the quality is going to be like, oh my gosh, or like crazy better and honestly when I do this test right now, it is probably actually going to be worse because I don't have the settings figured out. I've been trying to play with them. I spent like hours last night doing that. This whole thing takes so much time, but I don't necessarily expect it to look better or anything. I'm just so excited to have like a new piece of technology to play around with and then also for it to actually record. And th this is cool. This is like a windshield to try to, you know, trap the sound basically like if it's windy or anything or there's any background noise, it kind of just makes sure you can't hear that. So that's really awesome. And then one thing I love about this camera that my Sony 85100 doesn't have is when it is not on, this thing is closed on my Sony it has like a cap that I'm always too lazy to put on so it like potentially could scratch the lens so this is so cool and then you open it boom that's so cool all right so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the gold guys this is the last time you're gonna be seeing me on this camera because now it's time for an upgrade I have no idea what I look like right now I have no idea how this sounds this is weird but Already, I am like, I'm just loving this. And the one thing I will show you on here that I have to get used to is the little flip screen is on the side for my Sony camera, as you can see right here. Boom, you flipped it up. So I'm not used to having it on the side. That is weird for me. Another huge thing that is so nice is we have a little red dot. So you know you're recording. There's no one who's gonna trick you. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions on the price and it was not cheap, but not as expensive as I've seen some cameras. This one with a vlogger kit, which contains, I've never had this before. So I'm so excited. All of the YouTubers do little like tripods where you can vlog holding something, which I think will help make things a little more steady for me and just easier to hold. So I'm really excited for this. But the Cool thing is it's actually Bluetooth activated apparently so you can like do all of the controls <sighs> you guys just witnessed a really raw moment I did not know that it even worked when it wasn't connected to the camera oh my gosh wow you can do the controls from your tripod so I bought this as well as part of like a vlogger kit they sell it as and then a 64 gig memory card. So I'm good to go with all of that. And so the grand total was about $900. Definitely a lot of money, but it's also an investment. I mean, obviously this is a business expense. It's tax deductible and I consider expenses so worth it. For example, I was debating getting Final Cut Pro and upgrading from iMovie for years, years. It's a few hundred dollars. So it's, it's definitely like not cheap at all. And I wasn't doing it, wasn't doing it. Finally did it. It was the best thing I ever did. Like my videos are, they're, they're entirely different. Like I'm creating entirely different content. And so I definitely believe in investments and I think this is a good investment. Actually, I don't know if this is a good investment. I really have no idea what this footage looks like and I'm scared. And to be honest, saying goodbye to this thing, is really sad. This is my first vlogging camera, right? Like I did vlogs here and there throughout my YouTube career, but never really. And then right before I moved to Ohio, right when I graduated from college, I decided, you know what? I wanna get like a smaller compact camera. And I quickly ordered this little guy. And this is the one that came with me for my move from New York to Dayton, Ohio, where I started vlogging. I don't know, it's, it's definitely sentimental. One bad thing about it, I love the fact that it's white, but it is so dirty and all of the dirt shows and it's actually really disgusting so glad I upgraded to a black one hopefully you won't be able to see how disgusting it is and one thing I'm already loving that I can just tell right away this one is so much heavier than my new one so heck yeah and that's because this one as you can see like it was built for photo first obviously the videos are incredible but it really wasn't built to be a vlog camera like my new one so I am so freaking excited and you know what guys it's just gonna motivate me to make even better content for you and that's what we're gonna do Wow, I don't know why I just felt the need to pick up my tea. Okay. Whoa, Zach, new oh, camera. Oh, Clint, what is on top? Oh, it's, it's got cute. like hair. No, it is cute. It's a little, it's called a windshield. I'm teaching you it all. How but what do you it, look? 
the... But what, <laughs> what is it? It like blocks some of the wind if there's a girl outside and it looks cute. Oh, it looks like he's got a little haircut. Whoa, I now got the tripods. Zach, are you ready for this? But I was telling Zach, we have some bad news. I think the quality on this actually is better and we're, we're gonna look worse. <laughs> we're gonna look yeah. ugly. I'm gonna have to start wearing makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start wearing 12 more pounds. Don't even look at me. I'm wearing way too much right now. News reporter props. You're hitting my arm, it's moving. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm not used to Zach holding it, but I'll take it over. But Zach and I were just chuckling. I need to tell you, whenever we lay in bed at night, right before bed, we have some funny conversations. And the other day, Zach, as we're laying in bed, I think I like accidentally hit my nose on his nose. But what he said, tell them what you said. I just said, you're big, <laughs> you're big honker. Hit my nose. <laughs> so he calls my nose a big honker within his like a delicate little nose. And it, I, I just looked at him and was like, what? Unfortunately, the lunch break is over. It is back to work. We go. My duty, my honor, my job as a news reporter. I don't know what I'm saying, but also this thing right here is killing my ear. It's like the IFB. It's like or just, it's a Bluetooth thing. You just like stick it in your ear to listen to the show like this so that I can hear the anchors, I can hear the producers, but you can't see it. It is killing my ear. It just hurts wearing it day after day for hours at a time. And I tried switching it to my right ear and now my right one hurts and it's just, the things news reporters go through that people just don't even realize. Obviously I'm kidding everyone, I'm kidding. Finally, I am done writing my scripts for Monday. Guys, this has just been, I don't know, a crazy week and like this just took me way longer than it should have. But we have a wild Zach in his natural habitat who is eating some yogurt, about to make some chicken, cooking up some breasts. That sounds weird, okay. Eating some breasts. But what I really want to show you guys is our weekend to-do list. Because even in the middle of a pandemic where I really do nothing, I still have to make a to-do list. And I just, I like having like some things to cross off. I don't know, don't judge me. So I started this list a couple of days ago. Plenty to do. I have to go to the mall and return something. I have to go to Ulta and buy something. I want to clean the apartment. And then I want to get fusion. Maybe tonight, Zacharoni? Maybe? Who knows? The night's young. And then I added Zach to do, and I left him four boxes, and I was wondering, like, oh, like, what's what's he gonna put on them? Eat, coffee, poop, repeat. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I want to make sure I hit my goals. And honestly, I wake up from my nap, and I see cat. I'm like, what, you want to buy a cat? So someone needs to work on their penmanship. Also, this morning, Henry was cracking up about the collage of me sleeping you made for me. I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but for my birthday, one of my extra presents was Zach making a collage with pictures of me sleeping. What is this one? Like, why? Why is that even a thing? <laughs> that was a cheap shot, because I was truly in bed for that one. Yeah, that was a low blow. It was a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you have a lot of photos of me because I just, with my morning shift, tired human, I will pass out randomly at any moment. Yeah, so I occasionally just flip out the phone and snap the shots. I have to say though, don't you think that once I started this split sleep schedule where, and where I truly split sleep, like I'll nap for like yesterday's nap was like four hours. Don't you think I've been getting less tired at night and falling asleep in the middle of the day less? Uh, I do. So I think I'll well, take anybody time to get used to it. Um, but I think you've figured out the sweet spot for if you're gonna have to do that. We'll see. I feel like every like, I don't know, year or so, I'm like, this isn't working. So we'll see. And oh, guys, Zach is seasoning his chicken. People freak out on me that I don't season my chicken. But here's the thing, guys. Okay, we're watching Zach put it on so nice, so nice, so nice. Mine is nice too, though, or it's actually in the fridge. No, they don't have like a crazy seasoning on them, but they're not just totally plain chicken breasts because they do contain some sodium. Like there is a flavor to them. Why are you laughing? Because they are just plain chicken breasts. They're not, have you ever had it's them? It's not gonna sell the people on the idea that you don't. <laughs> people freak out. I, re I received one, you don't season your chicken hate comment a day. But yes, I think I'm going to close out my vloggity vlog. Oh, I hate when I do that. I I like call it that to myself, but I try not to say that publicly, but I'm gonna close out my vlog here on the new camera. Let me know what you guys think, but also don't say anything mean because I kind of feel like I'll be sad because it was a lot of money. So maybe um, don't say anything if you uh, don't have anything nice to say, but I don't know, like I, I, I need to get used to it and I will. Got anything to say? Say only nice things. Only nice things, guys, only nice things. Just kidding, obviously give me any feedback, um, but just be soft with it. <laughs> Peace on. Peace on. Yeah. <laughs>